in Gatwick's Departure Lounge. A passenger has been spotted buying tobacco with other people's boarding cars, and UK Border Officer Mike has been called in to investigate. We've had a call from the duty free shop that told us that someone has bought a large quantity of cigarettes and tobacco. So, what people do is they get a couple of boarding cards or get someone else to buy the goods for them. Apparently, they're sitting in the pub. Anyone flying within the EU has a duty free allowance of 200 cigarettes, but criminals steal boarding cards to non EU countries like Turkey and illegally purchase thousands of cigarettes. It's known as carousel fraud. Hey guys, how are you? But the man realizes the game is up. I'm lying, I'm going to Mortar, he's got a boarding pass. Have you got a boarding pass for Mortar? Yeah. Can I have a look at that? Yeah. Sorry. Are you all flying to Mortar? No, no he's they are going to Turkey. Okay. Can I see all your passports, please? They now need Thank to you. work out who's to blame. If you just wait there a bit. But Mike suspects the culprit may have to be arrested. No, he should be nicked for that. Why should he be nicked for it? Because you're not allowed to buy them going within the EU, even if you're free, because he's taken them EU. We'll see them report it, because they fraudulently use these. Hello, can I just run this past you, please? You know we've just been called up to duty-free land. Some geezer has got his mates who are flying to Bodrum to buy him 4,000 fags, um, and he's flying on to Malta. And he's admitted he knows he's done wrong, but they're so expensive out there. He's got to come down, really, isn't he? All three, all three of them, or season report, but it's an absolute offence, isn't it? Because it's a fraudulent. I think he'll need to come down. OK, if you collect your bag. The two passengers flying to Turkey will be allowed to leave, but the carousel fraudster isn't going anywhere. Okay. What you've done so far is an absolute offence, which so means... At the moment, time is 13.25. I'm placing you under arrest on the suspicion of being involved in the fraudulent invasion of excise goods. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm the defence if you do not mention when questioned something. You may later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand that? OK, we're just going to go down to our customs suite now. Am I going to make my flight today? Not looking likely. What we're going to do, though, we're just going to take you downstairs. OK. Um, we may seize the goods from you. We may need to ask you some more okay. questions. At the moment, I can't say whether you will make your flight or not yet. All right. OK. It may seem harsh for a few cigarettes, but the man has attempted to evade hundreds of pounds in tax. And if he's done it before, he may be going to jail. In Manchester, a flight from Paris has just arrived. Border officers have intercepted some suspicious baggage which started its journey in South America. These are the name of Lopez. Border officers are always on the lookout for anything suspicious. And it's the names on these bags that rang alarm bells. It's just the fact that they're, they're two similar cases with two different names, which smugglers have been known to, to use a method which we call the switch bag. They'll have two bags, one with drugs in and one just clean bag, depending on whether they get stopped or not. Depends which one they pick up. The bags go back on the carousel. Yes, then. While Martin keeps watch to see who picks them up. Officers now need to try and communicate with the passengers to find the source of the coke hit. These bags, they belong to you? Yeah? One moment. Spanish? No, Chilean. 
There may be a language barrier, but there's some words the son seems to understand. Cocaine, heroin? No, cocaine, heroin? The officers decide to swab the son's belongings first. The suspicions about cocaine were correct. But often coke hits can be caused by personal use. And working out the cause here will be easier said than done. Quite high hits of cocaine, I think, inside the gentleman's bank. Um, unfortunately, because they're non-English speakers, we can't really question to establish anything about misuse or anything. So, so whether he's a recreational user or not, we can't establish anything at the moment because he can't speak English. In Gatwick, the flight to Malta is about to depart, but one passenger looks increasingly unlikely to be there in time. What Duty Free said is that he was going out, he was going out, apparently, and just asking to borrow people's boarding cards so that he could buy. So he, went, he's, he said, lend me your boarding card. And they said, yeah, well, I'll, I'll get you a pint. And that's what and he's that's just in there. Well, yeah. that's how it works on the boats going Of course it does, of course it does. Oh, that's what he's done. He don't know him. No way. The cigarettes will definitely be seized, but the officers are waiting to hear back from the investigation team to find out if the man is going to be charged. His flight's due at 15.30, departure time. Gate closes at 15.10. Obviously, depending on how official we need to be about it, is whether or not he misses his flight. Obviously, he's committed an offence, so if he misses his flight, that's his own problem. As the fags get bagged, the news comes in that the man won't want to hear. Unfortunately, I spoke to the investigation team. They do want us to take you down and they'll question you down there, OK? So we'll be moving in a couple of minutes. With the illegal cigarette trade robbing over a billion pounds a year from the Treasury, the man's crime is being taken seriously. Hello, boss. Would you mind doing us a favour? Would you be able to contact British Airways and just say that he won't be making his flight? But it's just so that they don't hold the gate open and keep calling his name if he's not going to make it. All right. All right, lovely stuff. The man is in serious trouble with the law, and his travel plans are in ruins. Now, would you like somebody informed that you have been arrested and that you are here? Um, the thing is, she's in Malta. That's it. They're going to be no waiting problem. for me that end. Doesn't matter where you're in the world. I mean, it's are. just I don't want to scare her. I mean, can I speak to her or not? Am you I not? can indeed, yes. Hello, darling. Is Mummy there a minute? Huh? Is she asleep? Um, all right then. Um, uh, it's just the flight. There's a problem with the flight. It's yeah. Could, I've phoned her later. The flight's been delayed. Tell Natalie not to leave to the airport until I phone her. There's an engine problem or something. I don't know, but leave leave Mummy asleep. Don't wake her up. All right then. Bye bye. The man is locked up until the investigation officers arrive. They later charged him with evasion of excise duty and he's now awaiting sentence. Back in Manchester, there's more family problems. Officers are trying to communicate with the family from Chile, whose bags gave large hits for cocaine. Martin decides to play an unusual game of charades to work out if the son has used any drugs whilst abroad. Papa, Mama. Yeah. Who's that? One, one, one time. Soon. Days. Yeah. Who's there? Once. Yeah. Under pressure, one day, the son admits day, using day, cocaine. Uh, two, three weeks. Two weeks ago. Okay. So it's okay, so it's okay, yeah. Out of earshot of his parents, the son clears up the source of the coke hit. Mama, Papa. Mama. And Martin promises to keep the confession under wraps. And knowing the sun is used speeds up the search. Could be in trouble with his mummy and daddy, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not with us, but mummy and daddy. It also makes it easier to rule the family out as smugglers. Because the gentleman had been cooperative with us, the family had been cooperative, there was no need to involve his mother and father. The guys are adults. I also find people more truthful if you take them to one side, out of the presence of their parents. If I'd have managed to, if, I, if I'd have been able to ask that question directly to his, in front of his parents, I don't think he would have been as honest. 
I asked him the question, have you used cocaine? He said he had once. I asked him how long ago, he said two to three weeks. And that is borne out by the Thank presence you. of the, the traces in the areas we found. Thank you. Adios. At Manchester Airport, a flight has just arrived from Pakistan. Officers are on the lookout for drug smugglers and have pulled over two men for a bag search. Yeah, man, just bring your bag down here for me. Pakistan is a known source country for heroin, and officers conduct initial swab tests for any traces. There's been a recent surge of heroin seizures coming in from Pakistan. Surprisingly, Officer Gary gets a small hit for cocaine from his passenger's suitcase. Having got an initial trace, Gary swabs the man's clothes for any further hits. He said he hasn't used for three months, but he's a regular user of cocaine which will be here, which uses the cocaine because it's not very uh, accessible in, in Pakistan. <laughs> but this time, he gets an even bigger hit for heroin. It's given heroin hits. I need an explanation, basically, from where they're coming from. It could take a while to get to the bottom of this one. In Gatwick South Terminal, UK border officers are targeting a flight to Jamaica looking for money connected to crime using sniffer dog Toby. Just lower your bag for me. Just a quick customs check. Toby's job is to find large amounts of cash, anything more than a thousand, and handler Mark will want to investigate further. Hiya. Are you carrying any money with you today? Yeah. How much you roughly have with you? £10,000. It's a lot of cash leaving the country, and Paul will now want some answers. The dog has detected some currency, and you've said you're carrying about £10,000. Is that, is that all your money? Yeah. Okay. Paul wants to know what the money is for. I was thinking of buying a car down there. The car that you're going to buy. Yeah, do you know what you're going to buy? It's a Honda. A Honda. And how much are you going to spend on it? I think about 2,200. And you've got 10 grand there, though. The man's explanation becomes confusing. That's about 1.5. I'm back to 1.5. What are you going to do with the rest? The rest of the money. That's 2,005. Pardon me? 2,500. No, the car card won't buy four or five million. How much are you going to spend on the car? This car, I'm trying to add up get the right. I'm trying to add up get the right for one pound to one pound four. Say again, say slowly. I'm going to try and get it for like, what, one pound three, one pound four million. Right, which in, in sterling, in, in English money, how much are you going to pay? That would be like, what, 9,000 or 9,000 yeah. for Honda. Yeah. And how old would that be? Huh? How old would the car be? I think that's Cars in Jamaica are very expensive to buy second hand, aren't they? Yeah. yeah? So you're going to be prepared to spend like 10,000, nearly 10,000 pounds on a 2002 car. Paul thinks the story sounds suspicious. As a customs officer, yeah. I'm interested in, as I said, large amounts of currency that are leaving or entering the UK. You have a substantial amount of cash with you today. OK, that's the reason I'm taking so long yeah, with it. As I said, there's not going to be so much problem. Do you have any details of the car that you might want to buy with you? You don't have any. Could you provide those sort of details? Can you provide details of the bank loan to me? I can provide details. Yeah. And the process. Not, not now, this minute. Not now, this minute. Can I just see the money now I've searched the bags again? Huh? Can I just see the money again, please? That's okay. a What's how many's in here? Um, there is five thousand. And the other one? Five thousand. Let's have a look. And the other? Two bucks, sir. How much have you got together? How much have you got all together? Indeed. Yeah. Five. Ten thousand altogether. Yeah. Okay. What I need to do is to hold on to your money. Yeah. If you wait there. 
I've just got to do a couple of checks, OK? If Paul thinks the cash has criminal connections, it will be seized and the man's holiday could be over before it's begun. Got seven, they've got seven checks in bags, unfortunately, between them all. There's three of them travelling. The 10,000 belongs to the one person. It's from a consolidated loan. There's no documentation regarding the, the money, apart from the envelope it's in from a bank. Um, so it's going to cost me about £500 a month to pay it back. Yeah, it's all to buy a car in Jamaica. To buy a car? Yeah. So they've got family over there? He's Jamaican. He's oh, Jamaican. He there, no, he lives here. He works Why does he here want to buy a car in because Jamaica? he's over there a lot. With no evidence where the £10,000 came from, Toby may have helped find cash intended for drugs. Have you done the PNC at all? Paul wants to find out if the man has a criminal record, but with the flight now nearly ready to depart, time is running out. How long um, before the gate closes? Well, it's supposed to go at five past. Right. OK, I've got a few minutes. I don't know, yeah. OK. Back in Manchester, Officer Gary has found a high trace of heroin from a passenger's clothes who's travelled back from Pakistan. OK, now that, you see me swabbing the inside yeah, of his yeah. shoe when he's seen me swabbing the shoelaces. Yeah. Right, obviously you've had them on your feet. How long have you had them? About, about 48, OK. Them. Anybody else wear them? No, just me. OK. Well, I've just swabbed the inside of them. When you're wearing these, you're going to sweat yeah. through your feet and you're going to sweat through your paws and your hands, yeah, right? Yeah, now, I'm getting heroin hits and cocaine hits, quite a strong heroin hit from yeah. the soles of them shoes. You used to smoke heroin. OK. So while you've been in possession of them shoes, you've smoked heroin before and cocaine. OK. When was the last time you used heroin or cocaine? About two or three months ago. Two or three months yeah. ago. I've been clean up you, you clean up to now. You're registered heroin addict at all, or yeah. you have been, yeah. OK. The man's honesty about personal use explains the hits. But officers have a duty to investigate his belongings further to ensure he's not smuggling drugs into the country. Happy with that, I think. But officers are convinced that he's not drug smuggling and he's free to go. I'm not worried about anything, but I'm worried, obviously. I wouldn't be worried, I'd be sweating, you know what I mean? So I've got nothing to hide, so I'm all right. In Gatwick, the flight to Jamaica is nearly fully boarded, but the passenger is still waiting to hear if he'll be allowed to leave with his £10,000. Yes. So with your agreement, uh, can I go ahead and seize it? OK, 12.55 for the seizure of the money. It's not good news for the passenger. I'm not satisfied what you've told me regarding the cash. OK, you're telling me it's come from a bank, but I don't know that. It was good going from Barclays Bank. Yeah, I know what you're saying, but listen to me. As a customs officer, OK, yeah. I can't always believe what people tell me. Otherwise, I wouldn't be a very good customs um, officer, would I? Is there any other way you could, you could prove it without... I can't do it here this morning. I will be holding on to the money today. I will be seizing this cash, this £10,000. Yeah. You're not under arrest, and you will, you're entitled to leave the UK and go on your holiday to Jamaica today, but you won't be taking the cash with you, OK? It doesn't mean that you won't be getting the cash back at some further stage. At the moment, I'll need to seize it for the purpose of the further investigation. OK. okay? Will you be travelling on the flight today? Yeah. OK. That's fine. He's going to travel, so he doesn't need to offload the bags. Yeah. With just seconds to spare, the officers are now rushing to get the man on board. 12.55. But with 10 grand at stake, he wants to make sure all the paperwork is correct. Do you want to get your flights? Yeah, but then... then right. is, uh, You've got a few I'm minutes before the, the gate closes, OK? This is the receipt for the seized cash. That means I am taking £10,000 from you today mm -hmm. because I need further evidence from you to, to tell me where the cash is originated from and what the intended purpose is for. That's the reason I'm seizing mm -hmm. the cash. OK, this is purely this is a receipt. The flight is going in a couple of minutes. Right, we signed it. You really need to move. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell another person no, yeah? But the difference now, if I come to with two or three credit cards, I'll still say they don't define it. Yeah? Then you've been all right. The credit card has an audit trial. 
cash does. Yeah. That's the best problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah but then when you go, if you want to cash your flight, you need to get in the hospital, yeah? Everything is just paperwork. So there's no you have to cash much paperwork, just, just to go to the airport. That's if you just need a passport and don't carry the contraband. Sir, listen. If you want to make your flight, you have to go on now. If you even miss that flight, yeah, I don't even care because the insurance company still have to pay back for money. Thank you. I'm a, I'm a last of time. The passenger's not happy, but he's made the flight, and it gives the cash team time to ensure the money doesn't have any links to crime. With cash, he came across as putting um, up front about he was carrying the money, but I'm not satisfied with what the end use of the, ca the, the cash is for, and with, with particularly with... Um, bringing, uh, not saying this gentleman would be the case, but with drugs. Drugs are so much cheaper to buy qu uh, quantity-wise in Jamaica, and you could buy a lot of uh, drugs for £10,000. I'm not sure that it's, this, this man is totally involved in that, but people do. And obviously, um, if we can take the cash out at the beginning and do further checks, uh, more the better. The man who was carrying £10,000 in cash returned to the UK two weeks later, but his money remains with the border officers and the investigation continues.